speaking of M. Scott Veach, son of an astronaut, any evidence that you can have gas pressure without the necessary antecedent of a container for the gas to press upon? No, but we can't demonstrate it. There's no way to test it. Wait, wait hold on. Whether that's even possible. Nathan, are, are the walls of a container considered a force? <laughs> According to M. Scott Veach, they are. <laughs> 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 what a clown okay so without the container there can be no pressure the necessary antecedent to have gas pressure is a container to press upon now it's asserted in the heliocentric bullshit world of sphere earth in a vacuum that we have gas pressure and it's not following a law of nature and dispersing into an available volume that would be outer space so outer space the sky vacuum is an available space for the gas we breathe to fill. And according to the nonsense of heliocentricity, this pressure isn't contained. You can leave this open system and travel to a little light in the sky called Mars. Because there's no containment around Earth, according to the heliocentric religion of a ball Earth. Now, given that there's no containment and you can fly your little rockets out to Mars and the moon through the vacuum, how is it possible that the gas we're breathing, which wants to expand in all directions by its very nature, isn't expanding in all directions to fill the available volume? That would be space. Well, that's because, put simply, the sky is not a vacuum. Outer space is fake. If the sky was a vacuum... The gas we're breathing would fill the space. This is dictated by natural law. Boyle's law, the second law of thermodynamics, gas law, all of these things indicate the same thing. To have gas pressure in the first instance, as we absolutely do, you require containment. And without the containment, as alleged by a bullshit religion called heliocentrism, you have an open system not following the laws of entropy. Ergo, the sky is not a vacuum. If it was, we wouldn't be breathing. So outer space is fake. Furthermore, any claim that has come from the sky vacuum, including but not limited to photographs of the Earth from space, in quotes, are all automatically deemed bunk. You can't take pictures from a fake place. The sky is not a vacuum, outer space is fake, therefore the pictures claimed to be taken from this fake place, known as outer space, are also fake. Where was all the educated? Didn't this smack them in the face? I mean, how did it get by everybody for so long? So your teacher had no reason to disbelieve what he was permeating, even where there was contradictions that he may not have or she may not have understood. They just permeated the information. It was part of what's called a curriculum. So you got the information, they disseminated it. They weren't ma malicious in doing so. The information was just incorrect. Any more to add to gas pressure without a container, outer space being fake, you can't have gas pressure mm -hmm. without a container. Sky is not a vacuum. Uh, a pipe is a container, right? Yes. Also, a pipe is a container. That's correct, Chocolate. Thank you for adding that. Yes. So no what problem. if the gradient just keeps on going thinner and thinner and thinner forever? A gas pressure gradient is a delta of gas pressure. Right. And to have gas pressure, you must first have the antecedent of a container. So it follows like so. Container gas pressure, gas pressure gradient. So an appeal to a gas pressure gradient in no way addresses the fact that in order to first have gas pressure, you would require a container. So you can't have a gas pressure gradient without a container either. And if someone says otherwise, just say, can you show me a gas pressure gradient without a container? Beyond yeah. your fundamentalist religious assertion that the sky is a vacuum, because that violates the second law of thermodynamics, entropy would increase.
the gas would fill the space. 